What is up everybody here with a pretty significant movie haul here for you today. I uh, picked all these up at a local half price books. A lot of them were on the clearance rack too so this actually didn't really uh, cost me that much which is always nice getting a lot of stuff for cheap. Uh, first thing I got was for three bucks and this is the uh, complete third season of Gilmore Girls. Never seen this show. My uh, One of my friend's wives is really into this show. For three bucks I thought it was worth a gamble. I had some of the other seasons but don't have all of them yet. Uh, I mean, if this is along the lines of like the OC or uh, uh, One Tree Hill, I might at least enjoy this or it might be a fun story to watch. Don't know, I guess I'll find out. Might end up hating this show and wanting to sell it anyway. Never know. Uh, then I got the complete sixth season of Gilmore Girls. This one was five dollars on the clearance rack. Discs were all in great condition for the uh, these seasons also. And then uh, the one thing that intrigued me was uh, he is in the show. What's his name? Matt uh, Chenzerik. Matt, yeah, Matt Chizurki or whatever his name is. But he was the lead in The Resident and I really loved him in that show. So hoping he's good in this one as well. Oh, just a second here, got caught. All right, we got season eight of Seinfeld for only $3. Uh, I remember watching Seinfeld when I was a kid and didn't like it, but I guess this was more of a sitcom for adults anyway. So now that I'm older, I'm hoping I'll enjoy this show. I found all the seasons except for two of this series on the clearance rack for like 2 to $3 a piece. So that's not too shabby. Hoping it's a good watch. Then on the clearance rack, I found a factory sealed version of Taxi Driver. Never seen this movie. I uh, was trying to pick up a lot of Robert De Niro's work. Uh, a lot of people say this is a classic, so for $3, had to pick that up. Especially since it's in uh, brand new minty condition. Then I got Fortress with uh, Bruce Willis, Jesse Metcalf, and Chad Michael Murray. Heard this wasn't that great. But uh, I do like the cast, so I'm hoping that, you know, people are just saying it's bad and I might actually enjoy it. I'm hoping that anyway. Uh, can always hold out, hold out hope. I know a lot of these uh, later Bruce Willis movies weren't too great, but I am a big Bruce Willis fan. And now that he, uh, he's not making movies anymore, got to get him where you can get him. Then I found The Black Klansman. Uh... Saw this on Bob's channel on one of the uh, recommended movies streams and uh, decided to pick it up when I saw it for uh, $3 and it's certified fresh too, which is always nice. They say it's an amazing movie, so I wanted to check it out for myself. Then we have the first season of Outsiders. This was only on for two seasons. I guess it's a mix between the Sons of Anarchy and Justified in a way. But uh, looking forward to checking this out. It was rated really well. But uh, I do like David Morse. Uh, this was a WGN show, so I don't know what the production values are like on their shows versus others. But uh, comments down below if you've ever seen this show before. Then we have Center Stage Turn It Up. Uh, saw this for $2 on the clearance rack. I saw the first movie and thought it was really good. Uh, this is the sequel. Peter Gallagher is in this one as well. So at least there's continuity here. Uh, we'll see if it's as good as the first one at least. If it is, it'll be a fun watch. Then we have Annabelle Creation. Uh, $3 on the clearance rack. Uh, trying to expand my horror movie collection. I have the first Annabelle, didn't have this one, so wanted to check it out. Hopefully it's decent. Then I got Escape Room Tournament of Champions. This one I actually sprung for and got seven, uh, paid seven bucks for because I was really interested in seeing these movies. Uh, they got great reviews. Uh, they say it's a great original horror movie idea. Uh, I was a huge fan of, like, Cube, which seems similar to this. So, uh, hoping it's along those lines.
Then I picked up uh, Cell with John Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson. Sprung for this one and paid five bucks for it too. But this is a movie I didn't see out there in the wild very often, so I wanted to pick it up. John Cusack usually makes some pretty uh, decent straight-to-DVD movies. It's kind of like the new Bruce Willis in a way. And you can never go wrong with Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, then I found The Signal, which was, again, five bucks. But uh, this is a movie I really don't see out in the wild very often. And if you do see it, it's usually pretty damaged. But this one seems to be really, really hard to find, so I had to snag this up. Uh, back when this was on the uh, Instant queue on uh, Netflix, I wanted to watch it but never got around to it. Now it's not on there anymore. So had to snag it up. Uh, comments down below if you've ever seen this movie before. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Then uh, found Julius Caesar. Uh, this was kind of a blind buy. I'm really not expecting a lot out of this movie. I do love these type of uh, settings for movies and things like that. does have a pretty decent cast, but it seems like one of those straight uh, TV movies. So this could be rough, or it could be great. You know, I'm hoping it's great, but I'm I'm not holding out hope for this one. Then I got the first Police Academy. Uh, the only Police Academy I need now is the Mission to Moscow, I believe it is, which is the seventh one. But otherwise, I, uh, in my recent pickups, I have now acquired all the Police Academy movies. I'll have to watch these again to bring back those memories of uh, my childhood. Then we have Outcast with Nicolas Cage and Hayden Christensen. Mainly just picked this up to get another Nicolas Cage movie. Again, this is a movie I sprung for it because it's not one I see out in the wild at all. So I saw it, had to grab it. Probably not very good, but whatever. Gotta love those old school action movies in a way with all those old school action stars. Then I found Cry Macho with Clint Eastwood. Uh, trying to get most of Clint Eastwood's uh, movies, and this was one I didn't have, and it's a newer one, so figured why not pick this one up. You know, Clint Eastwood is a really good director. You know, I actually kind of like how he directs movies more than he acts in them, at least from the ones that I've seen anyway. But uh, maybe seeing some of his earlier stuff in that, I did love Trouble with the Curve. That was great. So... Uh, then I picked up Respect. Uh, you know, they seem to be pump, uh, studios seem to be pumping out a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, musical artists movies in a way now. Seems to be the new thing. You know, there was the Elvis movie. Now there's this movie. There was Rocket Man. So it seems to be the new fad right now. And uh, figured why not for three bucks uh, check out a movie on Aretha Franklin, who I don't really know a lot about as far as her personal life and how she started in the business and such. So hoping this is a solid watch. Then I picked up Malcolm X with Denzel Washington. $3. A lot of people consider this movie to be one of Denzel's best movies. Uh, hoping that's true. Uh, this could be a very, very good movie from what I read. And I do really love the cast. I love Delroy Lindo. You know, Angela Bassett's in it as well. So I do have high hopes for this movie, and it's a longer one too. It's uh, what is that? That's that is a long movie. So uh, looking forward to checking that one out for three dollars. Why not? Never go wrong with Denzel. And then lastly, I got Manhunt Unabomber. Uh, when this came out on TV, people said that this was a really, really good show, and I am a big f f Sam Worthington fan. So for $3, I was going to snag this up and uh, hoping it's a solid watch. But uh, that does it for this movie haul. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. I am also over on Letterboxd. The link to that is in the profile description of this channel. Otherwise, until next time, guys.